Cam Citizens, uh, question mark, the reality of 318 that few YouTubers dare admit. By, by Gem Reviews. And, yeah, it was posted a month ago. Okay. Scam Citizen. I'm not doing another video for the channel, and yes, time again to talk about Star Citizen. Now, quick answer to your question. Is it still worth playing? Um, it's still worth your 45 bucks. Let's leave it at that. I mean, this is the same thing I've been saying all along. Is this like a camera mic? Like, what kind of mic bucks, is this? Get yourself the cheapest ship in game. Don't spend a single cent more. Yes. Be warned. I the agree. marketing strategy that they have is, you know, best in the industry. They What's will up, convince you that you need to buy this cool ship. Trust me, they're mostly broken. Most of them simply don't work as you would expect. You don't want to know what it feels like to spend 200 real live money dollars in a ship and then realize that the following yeah, day cell phone, is broken speaker phone. and it's going to stay broken for several years. You don't want to go through that. So Also, the crackling is on his side this time. I don't know if I'm crackling. Probably because my PC is stock shit. Yes, worth playing still. I wouldn't be doing the video if it's not. Um, but it's worth only your 45 bucks. If you want to... Well, he already spent more because the cutter is... I'm not crackling? That's cool. Yeah, the cutter is such a tease ship. It's an ami I love the cutter. I love, like, everything about the cutter. I love it. But the fact that it can't really transport the rock, it's... Ah. But, um, yeah, they, they, they did that on purpose. But I think that, like, this is more than 45 bucks already. Spend 50, you know, get yourself a, a cutter or whatever it is. You know, that's up to you. If you want to go spend $10,000 in this thing, be my guest, right? It's Why did he place it there? Like, he can place them here. Thing. Let me be show you. Be my guest. You can place the, the small, like, uh, crates here. Right, it's just your money. Drake bad, but go boom. For most mortals, it's How simply dare not you? worth it. And I would even How argue that dare even you? you do have, you know, insane amounts of money and you can just spend anything you want without even blinking... I would still encourage you not to because it is encouraging the company yeah, not Ricardo to do their job. 60, and yeah. let me explain why this is. It has gotten to a point where Star Citizen is simply a business. And you may be thinking, yes, Fernando, all businesses are a business. just businesses. All companies are mostly inclined in, doing, in making money. Yeah, absolutely. That is 100% correct. The problem that we have here, though, is that unlike, let's say, Bethesda, that is looking to release Starfield in the near future, right? They will okay. make their money once Starfield is released. And if Starfield works great, they will make a lot of money. That is a... You can't compare, like, you can't compare those companies because Bethesda is an established company already and they can invest their own money. CAG didn't have their own money to invest. Different business. They model did. They invested something. What Star Citizen the first year, like on. 2011, and then all of all of the other money came from the backers. It's so CIG, Chris Roberts, they have a completely different uh, business model, which revolves around selling ships and revolves around not having much a point in finishing this game. Most of the community has understood that. Yeah, you will probably never see. Star Citizen completed, and as I said myself in previous yeah, videos, and it will all like yeah, obviously it will release with, with a shit ton of bugs. I didn't play, I didn't know about that honestly, uh, because I didn't play the last two um, Fallout's, so I didn't know that they were buggy as hell. I played like the original one and maybe the second one, and that that was it. I have no problem with that. Now, having said all of that, having said that, I have no problem with this never being fully released. The problem I do have is that I just realized something about the business model that not only revolves around selling very expensive ships, which it is their right. You know, you can sell whatever you want, people can buy whatever you want. Now, the problem is that the business model not only revolves around... I never played the Oblivion or of Skyrim. Development, it also revolves around minimal amount of not my style of a game in actual development while i'm like i tried skyrim I, I tried skyrim but i don't like it as much as possible so what a lot of people don't understand about this game 
is not because of the game as a game uh, i tried it like later when it was fixed i guess but i just don't i'm not into dragons and all that shit the amount of progress being made the amount of content added each year is minimal it is barely minimal enough so as to keep them on their sounds of the forest I've been playing that for the uh, last week uh, on stream with people. Right side of the law. What I mean by this is... It's amazing. If CIG would Can't wait to play it again. make a minimal amount of progress each year, this would really truly be a scam. You know, they would just take your money and not do anything with it. They just sell you shares for a game that they're not truly developing. So as to stay on the safe legal side, they have to make some progress each year. How much progress? Uh, are you like a minimum. lawyer? What, what are you talking about? How do you know that? What is the minimal amount of progress? Minimal. Skeleton crew. Like, claim their I don't, I don't get this guy at all. Things, but as we all know, it's a lot about claiming to do things. It's very little about actual game development. And the proof is right here. You see it. The proof is in how much content have you seen in 2022? Very, very, very little. How much... Pro yeah, but we also had, like, the same shit happen between 2.6 and 3.0, so... Progress have you seen... And after that, we got more, more, more stuff and planets and all of that. Like, 2021 and 2020 were, like, pretty good, I guess. And, well... In terms of Star Citizen, because, like, yeah, it's always too fucking slow, but yeah. All year round. Very little. There's just not a whole lot of it. And that's where this, you know, gets disappointing. I, I like to think that, yeah, we are giving them money. We're financing this company. Yo, Chris, you, you gotta, you gotta check out my streams well, from um, not so much. the forest. It, we bought, like, a huge uh, um, house. It's, it's really good. There's a bare bone minimal amount of, of progress made. Not even much content at all, really. It's just bare bones minimal progress made and just enough so as to keep them out of jail at this point. Uh, and it is sad. You know, it's very disappointing. But the solution for this is don't give them any more money. The less money you give them, the more progress they will be inclined to make because the more they will be forced into going into a more traditional business All right, model. So boycotts don't work, and I talked about this a lot of times already, especially when you're like a small content creator with like 196 subscribers. That's not going to work, first of all. Secondly, uh, even I, that... I may share this opinion, but I never called for a boycott. The only boycotts that I call for, if you can call it a boycott, I, I just said don't buy the Galaxy because uh, because of modularity. Uh, like, just don't, because like they need to give us modularity first. Because you're not going to get it anytime soon. That's why. Other than that, you can spend your money on whatever you want to. I don't care, honestly. Company Who am I to, to tell you anything? In, in the end, it doesn't matter. Like even if morphologists, like the or board gamer, called for a boycott, it just wouldn't happen. Business model because boycotts do not we need work. To make stuff. We like need through to history of game. the world, they do not work. Game. If we want to see money, if we want them to give us money, we need to make more of this stuff, right? That is the way in which this will only progress. If not, if we stay, if we stick to this model of you know becoming an ATM for the CIG, for Chris Roberts, for the the Chris Roberts family, right? If this becomes a a, a business model that simply revolves around you know you know. This is also not, not true. This is like a Reddit fucking post. This is not true. They they have to pay nine hundred employees. On a monthly basis, they have to pay for the offices. They have to pay for the fucking Amazon servers. So it's not going into his pocket. Sure, he's going to make a lot of money. Sure, he's like the CEO. He's like, uh, uh, he has like, uh, his wife is uh, in the, what's it called? The board of directors. His brother is there also. So they're going to make a lot of money. Sure. But also they need to pay the employees and all of that hyping and, and, and hyping eternally and marketing and promising ships. And I mean, there's ships 
that have been sold that are in you know just in in concept that have been pushed back for five ten years there's no limit to this there's no end to this unless people stop giving them money for pretty much no reason whatsoever if this continues i assure you the amount of progress you'll see will never increase it will always be stuck in there's another argument to be made if they can't uh pay the office spaces and uh, the uh, the amazon servers if they can't can't pay the employees uh, then the game is done like it's finished or they will need to uh call somebody like the colders uh, cauldrons i forgot the, uh their like um surname to like bail them out and give them like a few million to to like continue working development but that's not going to happen at this point that's not going to happen level and nothing each month is going to be better than the previous month from now on for at least like three more years more. and as of right now that's what you have and now the issue is is cag going to realize that that like the money is not going to dry up but it's not going to be constant and it's not going to be um better every month for for like an unlimited amount of years this is going to take like it, it's going to last for a while and then people are going to realize well we're like paying for nothing because they're not making any progress or CAG will realize that yeah shit we gotta we gotta give them more now playing this is 318 what is that you have in the month of february wasn't very Almost good nothing really it's just but were there any it, actual it sales at this point wait for really invictus you're gonna see that the amount of progress that you have in 318 it is very little yes there's guys working on first of all we didn't have like a patch secondly uh no sales uh the only sale was for the hull c but hull c is going to be sold again uh, most people that want a whole C already have a whole C. But once we get Invictus, you're going to see that like this Invictus is going to be better than the last year's. You know, the, the content creators that they Even have... Even though we there, had like a patch you know, for a year. Uh, their priorities, you know, selling you the idea that, yeah, it's almost there. And some are more, you know, uh, critical than others, right? But at the end of the day, you're still looking... At the at end of the day, you don't know how to get to the fucking top of Little progress things. and... The agenda that many content creators have revolve around still, you know, being a little bit more critical, sometimes being just downright shills, because let's be honest about let's be honest about that as well. You have shills making content e each and every day, making content out of nothing. There is very little. Uh, I mean salty So oh okay. So Alright, so before he mentions Salty Mike, uh, so um, there is little content to be made, yes. But also shilling, come on. I talked about that a bunch of times. E especially uh, uh, when it comes to paid shills, because this is the thing that fucking bothers me a lot. Because nobody's fucking paid by CEG. But yeah. Uh, I mean, Salty Mike and... Uh, Grumpy Eye would be some of the more honest guys out there in the star Thank citizen you. world. Uh, and they still try to make content out of thin air because, right, you know, your channel revolves around that. So, Because I'm shilling. Oh, so, yeah. But as you notice, I haven't been doing a lot of star citizen content because there's simply none. Also, you don't have 40 patrons and uh, 50 people that are uh, joining your uh, or members in the channel. So you don't feel an obligation towards them to make content for them. Uh, that is like, even I, that I feel obligated and I feel like a fucking asshole for not uh, like um, posting any videos because I have people that are supporting me. Some of them are going to support me for me being me. Some of them are going to support me because of my music. But most of the, most of the people are supporting me because of my opinions on Star Citizen and all of that. Uh, they're not supporting me uh, because of my opinions on D DCS. They're not supporting me because of my opinions on Tarkov or any other game or Overwatch, which is the game that I play the most. But they're supporting me basically because of uh, Star Citizen. And they found me through Star Citizen. So I have an obligation towards them 
to uh, do something when, like, when it comes to Star Citizen. I only watch you for that pissed off Star Citizen guy. Yeah, so that's that's like one of the issues, right? Second issue is that like my music career is basically done uh, in Serbia at least, so I can't honestly I can't make money. And on top of that. If you take a look at my channel, is this my second channel? Yeah, this is gonna be my second channel. If you take a look at my main channel, let me let me show you this. Uh, yesterday posted, last week, two weeks ago, and then one more two weeks ago. So I'm posting up to two videos a week. What's up, Rokomo? Because there is no content to be made in Star Citizen. And most of these, actually all of these, are from streams. Even though my second channel is made for like stream clips and all of that, I just like I like what am I gonna talk about? I already made should you buy Star Citizen in 2023? Spend four four days on it, eleven thousand views. Uh I already made 318 major changes. I already made predictions I already made what can you expect from 3.18. So what else is there to talk about? We had a, a single patch for a year. Like in April, we can blow some can candles because it's going to be like the birthday of, of 3.17. If they don't release uh, um, 3.18. So that's why we're doing that. Honestly. And yes... Some of us are doing that for the money. We're not doing that uh, for for uh, fucking. <sighs> All of 2022, off, and giving that it's a new channel, and that I'm, I'm just covering um, Star Citizen this last year. There's more of the you know legacy stuff that that I address, but other than that, there's just not a whole lot more. And I'll be honest with you, 318 bare bones. A little bit of the relics here and there. I was just in, uh, in Security Station Korea and I, I cleared my crime stat. It is a little bit different, but man, I would at least expect. And one of the things that upsets me the most is because I've been honest, even posting in Spectrum, I got banned several times. Yeah, I time almost got over banned. A week. I mean, you're financing this and you're getting banned simply because you're honest and upfront about what you're seeing with your own two eyes. That is. It's not, it's not, I, you gotta show us the posts. Like, look, I don't know the guy, maybe he's right. I have been sent some uh, posts that people got, get, like, got banned for. I shared it uh, with my fellow content creators, shared those um, photos or screenshots, and I was like, am I like a complete dick that I can't see that this guy is... Uh, being an asshole or being toxic or being abusive or whatever. And then they said, no, like, there's nothing wrong here. Like, why did he get banned? And he got banned. So you got to show us the posts that you got banned for, honestly. But then, like, if you're... It's a matter of how you approach the things. Like, on my channel, I can be a fucking douche. Uh, and I can be an asshole and I can be whatever. But it's like their forum, and you gotta respect their rules, even though you might not uh, agree with them. So, for example, I do not agree with the um, Q and A. Every time when Q and A uh, uh, happens, the when questions are basically banned. And uh, like, whenever you post a when question, your uh, um, your posts uh, uh, get deleted immediately. It's very upsetting, but wrapping this up, not taking more of your time, 318 it is, and the, the persistence, barely there at this level. Sometimes you're surprised because stuff does persist. Sometimes you lose stuff that you've had in stations all week long, and it just goes back to a saving that it obviously was several days But it's the PTU right? still. That's where... Like, like, we can only talk about 318 after it gets released. At this point, it is right now. But the amount of progress, the amount of additional content, 
man, with a $600 million uh, game, you would expect at least every year to have the equivalent of a DLC from a AAA game. You would at least expect to have the content that No Man's Sky has or, or Cyberpunk has with a lot I of I can money. agree with that. No. Money is funneled into the profit, it's funneled into the bank accounts of the owners of the company, and the only progress you see is the minimal le required by law so as to not make this by definition a scam. That is where we are right now, guys. And believe me, it will not change anytime soon because funding keeps breaking records. And if, as it is, the business model is the most profitable ever, why change anything? Guys, see you on our next video. Take care. Yeah, I'm not sure that he's like American or uh, whatever. So uh, I'm not sure about like the... There's the link if you want to watch it later.